Chua and welcome to Sir Chua's Accounting Lessons PH. So today, we will be having an orientation of the ABM strand or the Accountancy Business and Management strand. So as you know, our government has offered grades 11 and 12 and ang pinakaiba ng grade 11 and 12 sa basic education natin dati na kinder to grade 10 or the fourth year high school is we have now specializations to prepare you either for work or for entering college. So this is parang college preparatory. Okay, so now I will be discussing you one of the strands which is the ABM strand. So what will we expect in this strand and let's see if this strand is for you. Okay, so putting it simply, the ABM strand is for those who are interested in entering the wonderful world of business. Okay, so the ABM strand, as I told you, or the accountancy business and management strand is an academic strand that focuses on accounting or business concepts that leads to employment, entrepreneurship, or higher education. Okay, so as you can see, it focuses where? Accounting or business concepts. So if you're into business principles, if you are, or if you want to uh, make your own business or become an accountant, then the ABM strand is for you. But uh, it's not just about accounting or it's not just about business. So later we'll be discussing that, uh, how wide ABM is, okay? So it will lead to three things, which is employment, entrepreneurship, and higher education, okay? So, um, what are the subjects in the ABM strand? Okay, um, Siyempre, you will not get away with your four subjects like English, like um, oral communication, reading and writing skills, uh, English for academic and professional purposes, yung mga ganun, okay? And then mathematics, science, and physical education, and then some uh, social science uh, subjects like understanding culture, politics, and society, if I am correct with the UCSP, okay? Uh, sorry, understanding culture, society, and politics, UCSP, okay? So, um, you won't get away with the core subjects, but uh, let's focus here on the applied and specialized subjects, okay? Applied and specialized subjects are those that are applied in the business field, and specialized subjects, kumbaga parang these are your majors, Okay, these are your major subjects, which is highly relatable, siyempre, in the field of business. Okay, so we first we have is a business mathematics. Business mathematics is the application of mathematical concepts in the field of business. Okay, and then organization and management is the subject which will teach you the very basic principles, the founding principles of a business organization. Okay. And then business finance is about how an entity or how a business entity or a business firm manages their money or their finances, okay? Then we also have applied economics. If you have economics in your grade 10, in your Alaling Pandipunan, then this is the application part of it in the field of business, okay? That's why it's called applied economics. Okay? And then entrepreneurship is the subject which will teach you how to create your own business. So if you are, if you are very interested in creating your own business, then, I, then this subject is for you. Okay? And then we also have the principles of marketing. So it will teach you the basic principles how to do marketing and how do you apply it maybe in your own business or in the, in the business field that you will enter into. Okay? And then we have this two, it's a two-part subject, the fundamentals of ABM1 and the fundamentals of ABM2. Fundamentals of Accountancy, Business and Management, Parts 1 and 2. It, it's uh, actually fundamentals of ABM, but it's more on accounting, <laughs> okay? So these are your accounting subjects, okay? Fundamentals of ABM1 uh, will focus on uh, the accounting process for service companies and for merchandising companies under sole proprietorship type of business. And then the fundamentals of ABM2 will teach you how to prepare financial reports known as financial statements, how to analyze those financial statements, uh, bank reconciliation, and we also have the general principles of taxation. Okay, 
So, all of these subjects, dapat naiintendihan ko lahat kasi you will be collaborating all of the things that you discuss here and you will be creating a business plan or a business enterprise simulation with which dapat lahat to na-apply nyo mabuti. Okay? I think most schools uses that uh, business plan as your graduating requirement for grade 12 ABM. Okay? So, check with the school. <laughs> Okay, so after graduation, it is expected that uh, you will be either of the three. Okay, first is employment in entry level positions. Actually, the senior high school, uh, one of the purposes of senior high school is you will be employed. Okay. So, uh, what we expect is you will be employed in, syempre, entry level positions. We, you, we cannot enter a high level position again. Okay, um, actually, in the ABM strand, you can also take the National Certificate 3, Level 3, in bookkeeping after completing Fundamentals of ABM Parts 1 and 2. Okay, so that will be an edge for your credentials to be able to, uh, should you want to enter the workforce, then you can become employable. Okay, and then you can also shamper proceed to college. So later, I have here a list of the uh, degree programs that you can enter in college. Or you can also start your own business. Or pwedeng sabay. <laughs> pwedeng masabay. You're uh, like a college guy, and then you start your own business. Um, your advantage here is that because you have all of these specialized subjects, you're ready to start your own business because you now have the technical know-how of business at this point in time. Although not really that deep because this is senior high school, but at least you have the basic principles on how to create your own business. So this is a very promising strength for you. Now, should you enter college, I have here a list. Actually, this is not an extensive list, baka may kulang pa ako dito. So if you think I have uh, things that are lacking here, you can comment them down below. Okay? So um, ABM related uh, academic programs or degree programs can be in accounting, in business administration, in hospitality and tourism, or meron tayong mga others na either medyo bago or ah, hindi ko lang siya nakategorize. <laughs> okay? So, yeah. so, for accounting, we have BS Accountancy, which will lead to the CPA board exam. So, at this point in time, if you have the goal of being a certified public accountant, like me, <laughs> so, you should take BS Accountancy. And for you to be able to enter into BS Accountancy, then your grade 12 strand, or grade 11 and grade 12 strand should be ABM, okay? And then we also have BS Management Accounting, BS Internal Auditing, and BS Accounting Information System. Those are four uh, degree programs that we have for the field of accounting or accountancy, okay? And then we have the very famous business administration, okay? Uh, business administration major in marketing. Business administration major in finance. Business administration major in human resource development management. Uh, business administration major in supply chain management. And BSBA major in operations. Other schools are offering some more uh, major shifts in these fields so comment down below yung kulang ko okay and then we also have uh htm or the hospitality and tourism courses we have tourism management bachelor of science in tourism management and bshm or the bachelor of science in hospitality management sir di po ba merong strand na talagang tourism operations o di po kaya cookery o kaya yung uh, RBO, yung uh, restaurant and bar operations. Eh bakit po sinasabi niyo sa amin na kailangan mag-ABM pag gusto namin mag-tourism or hospitality management? Okay, so let me clear that for you. If you want to proceed to college and you want BSTM or BSHM, remember the words in the degree program. Management management. When a degree program has the word management, it is a business course. Okay? So if in college, you want BSTM or BSHM, then 
you need to enter the ABM strand. That's why I'm telling you that ABM is wide. And as far as your course is about business, it's about a, it is a management course, then you should enter the ABM. Ngayon, para saan po yung tourism operations, yung Kukeri, yung RBO, those are TDLs or the uh, technological, vocational, and lightly, at tama ba? Te I sorry, technical vocational pala. Sorry, okay? So, technical vocational livelihood uh, strands, no? Yun po, yun talagang mga gustong mag-enter ng workforce after graduating into senior high school. Okay? So, I suggest, I highly suggest, if you want to enter BSTM or BSH, B BSHM, then you should be, uh, you should be entering the ABM strand. Okay? And then we also have the a new program, which is retail technology and consumer science. This is for e-business. Uso ngayon yan mga online selling. Okay, so this is for you. Okay, then the ABM strand can also enter customs administration. Yan sa uh, and then we also have real estate, real estate management. You know, yung mga sa sa bahay, chak sa lupa yon real estate. And then office administration. So there are degree programs that offers also uh, office administration. So I know this is not an extensive list. So if you think I have something kulang or I I have um, explained something erroneously, please comment it down below. Okay. So I hope to see you all in the accountancy, business, and management strand. Okay, so this tutorial uh, videos are actually for ABM students who will be uh, taking up the subjects uh, fundamentals of ABM one and fundamentals of ABM two. Okay, so our next lesson, actually not lesson, our next video would be an orientation of the fundamentals of accountancy, business, and management part one. Okay, so th uh, this um, vlog is. Uh, for ABM students and also for BS accountancy students with accounting subjects. Okay, so please like, share, and subscribe to Search Was Accounting with SSPH, and I hope to see you all in the ABM strand.